Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the Tangle Chabukto from CZT Margaret Bremner. I hope I pronounced that at least close. All right. Uh, this is uh, what a neat tangle and not so hard yet very impressive uh, to do. I'm, you know, I keep thinking, um, cause there's a lot of tangles that are kind of weavy like this. Um, and there are some similar aspects I've, I've often thought, and, and I shall, it's on my list of things to do, uh, to kind of create a path to some of the tougher tangles, but, um, uh, things like this, that kind of could get you started on an easy path and then we build on it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on that. If you think that's a neat idea, let me know in the comments. <laughs> All right. So this one, oh, let's see which way. Oh, I guess I'll just go straight across. This one starts off with a series of dots. Now let me see if I can get, I mean, it doesn't matter if I have an even number or not. Um, but let's just see. It's uh <laughs> oh, it looks like I can. All right. Then we're going to connect them in pairs. So get this here so that way you can see what I'm doing. Okay. With just, well, sure, a simple, simple. Some days the pen just doesn't want to cooperate. Um, a V or an upside down V or an A without the thing. And then one underneath skip these two. We'll try to make them similar. All right. Now know that you're going to fill these in. Well, you know, well, I say, yeah, we're going to fill them in. I mean, if you decided you didn't want to, of course, you know, you can do whatever you want. And because we're going to do that, it does help with the course correction, although it doesn't. Well, no, I can expand that one out a little bit more. Um, now, granted, I could have done this. Well, maybe. See, here it's the thing. Let me let me just do this. See how? Uh, this is why I usually will do something like this and then come back and fill it in. You get a nice kind of a cleaner point there than you do. And this is a, the graphic one. Um, and so it just I pretty much just use it for fill in. However, you, as I'm saying this, I, cause, and because I've done this, um, cause like I'll, like I say, I see, I'll come right to the edge and just be careful, but you can always go back. Like I will need to right here and touch up a little bit. So up to you <laughs> after all that, up to you, whatever you want to do. It's all good. Um, Part of me is thinking, well, you could have drawn these a little smaller. All right, this one, I'm going to take this one out. So we're going to definitely course correct there. I got a little bit weird shaped. And like I said, this is where you could, you know, if you want to, don't worry about it too much because as I have found, oh, just go look at my step out, <laughs> my version of it. Yeah, you, you'll see how much you don't need to be perfect in order to do this. <laughs> So we're going to leave them just like that because there is some touch up that will naturally happen along the way that, and I'm also here to prove that anybody can do these kind of things. All right. <laughs> then again with, you know, whatever pen you're using, you know, and maybe just doing a dot like that, those first ones, I did them bigger kind of so you could see them, but because these are going to, um, basically fit into uh, what you're doing, especially for this part, you might want to just m make a little dot like that. It, it's, I think it's helpful. And there's other times where I've added something like this um, because it is helpful to have just a little placement dot place for you to shoot for and it blends right in. And so it's all good. It's all good. All right. And I share that because the way my brain has always worked and still does, it's like, no, oh, that's no, <laughs> that's cheating. You shouldn't. No, you're supposed to just do it. You know, so, so I have to tell, I have to tell myself over and over again, no, it's okay. Oh, the things that go on in my head. All right. Now from here, 
what we're going to do is we're going to take this underside. So looking at the diamond this way, and we're going to use sort of the takeoff and land concept. And we're going to like, you don't have to travel this, this far, but you can, because we're going to end up here. And it's funny because as I was doing, I'm like, wait a minute, how I saw, because I just, you know, one of those glanced quickly, quickly, it, you know, before the step, and I'm like, no, wait a minute, no, 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 I need to go back and look. Yes, correct. My assumption <laughs> was wrong. It's like, no, there's no way to do that. So this underside, and just, you know, a nice, well, straight ish line. And so if something like this happens, guess what? Doesn't matter because you can just fill it in it's all good so all of those undersides like that and so we're putting the dot like uh, you want to eyeball it you know have to be above this point and that's helpful so then well let's just see oh yes wait let me, let, I, I, because I didn't do it this way yeah, that's right. Oh, look at me making that line there. Well, that's all right. It's kind of, <laughs> it kind of works. Yeah, so we're doing, I didn't, I didn't do this on my version of the step out because I work on a, you know, a eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Um, and so I usually don't necessarily, I don't turn it a lot of times. And why is my brain is stopping? Here's what we did. Here's what we shall do again. Yes, that is what we shall do. Okay. Gee whiz. I <laughs> uh, hope I am giving you hope. That's my aim. All right, so same idea. And then here again, you know, this is where we can course correct and make those, tidy up those lines. And if, you know, because it's one of those things, it's hard to judge. Oh, you know, it's like, oh, if I could make a perfect, you know, diamond, you know, that would be one thing. But this is, it's a great, um, a great way that it makes the tangle uh, forgiving. Okay, then. Oh, and then you can take these, you know, the ones that are, you know, on the ends. And we're just going to carry those out the side like that. Okay. Next, this, we're just going to connect it here. Now, you could try to, you know, you know, holla about that if you like, or just do like this. And it's one of those, I don't think you have to really worry about it. Let's just look. I mean, here we can sort of, but you could also, like that, just, you know, eyeball, you know, that halibut effect, like so. It's all good. Yeah, the, oh, the, okay, so, <laughs> and what was I doing here? I don't know. And then same thing, but you know, you maybe do both of them first or, you know, like I said, do one, then you could kind of neaten things up if you wish, or just make it wonky. Wonky is good. We like it. Up to you. And I share that because I don't want anybody, don't get all, don't get super stressed over it. Okay. Let's let these ends though, actually. I would have had a lot this line coming up here. You got to make sure to follow through on all of these so that it looks convincing, right? As we're, you know, if you're going off the page like this or if you're going under, um, that's so funny. I just had this accident. I mean, not on purpose. I can't even get it to line up on purpose because I just thought, I'm like, well, oh, did I just make that? No, I didn't because that was there before. Um, but anyway, it's just a good idea to work to continue the lines as if you were carrying them through. Let's see. Yeah, and this would have there just that little well, just that little bit. Okay, happy. And that's it. That's it. Except, you know, I mean, you, you try not to agonize too much over anything. I, I'm always working on that <laughs> myself. Now, shading, of course, where things go under, right? And I'm going to do, oh, got a 
bunch left on that tortillon. Turn it, same thing. Oh, I clean that other side up a little nicer. Now, there is, of course, so much that you could do with this. If you take a look at the For More Inspiration link, you will see um, uh, <laughs> Tangle Patterns, and, uh, and then you'll find the link in there to Margaret's, uh, to her blog. And then you can see some really neat ideas for how else to finish this. Did I need to turn it that way? No. I'm so silly. <laughs> so for instance, and I'm looking at Margaret's sample and I, I, think I'm going to add this because I kind of like it. Actually, I'm going to add it, but I'm going to modify it a little bit. She has it within a border. So you could just do it like this or because I really liked it. I'm going to add a border and I'm just going to touch sort of those ends. We'll do a double because I liked it. That's what she has there. A double border. We'll do it on both sides. I mean, you could aura it. Um, uh, let me add this. Um, oh, cause yeah. And her sample, she has it, you know, mixed with a bunch of, you know, other tangles, but, um, oh no, no. And then, then make sure to scroll down. There's two. And the second one, oh my gosh, that, <laughs> that one's really neat. So what's neat about the way she has it started is that you could, uh, you know, with those dots. So say you have, you have a, a string line and you could just space those dots out just like we did going, you know, you know, in curves or what, you know, however you want it to go and, and then follow the rest and just kind of go with the flow. And, you know, tr of course, you know, try not to worry too much about, about it, but, um, but because you'd be making it curvy, there's going to be um, the, uh, that expectation of things are not going to be the same versus kind of a straight line like this. You know, there's, I will say somewhat of an expectation, not too much because we really look at, look at how neat that is when you just add something like that, but you could do anything and, you know, and, and she has in there. Also, you could add patterns inside of, uh, you know, these lines that we've created completely up to you. Of course, I didn't do that double line there and I need to could do it both ways could do cheesecloth in there. But like I said, just a lot of fun and it's just neat, just neat. I do like the way it looks when you add, uh, these lines and if you keep your pen kind of light, then you don't have to worry about this kind of thing. It just, it's like, it just adds to the character. Yeah, that's what we call it. Yes, yes. Adds to <laughs> the character. All right, let's do that. Oh, you know what's so funny is look at that. Um, it goes right in. I should have made it a little thick. Oh, you know what? Wait, let's just do it. Cause I just, I didn't realize until like right now, seriously. Oh, it just blends right in. Oh, well we can fix that. I'm trying to make it fill in there. Get that line there. All right. Can you always go back with the other? Oh, look at that. Love it. See, and actually, then I could course correct the other way because that one got a bit thick at that end. Just because my pen kind of got goofy. And so what? I can thicken it the other side. And then adjust this side. 
Although you do have to find a place to stop because otherwise then it can get, you know, like totally all out of control. <sighs> Neat. Yes. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, while I'm playing some more, uh, please click on the like button. And if you liked it enough to see more and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, would love to have you be a subscriber. Uh, in that description section, I mentioned links to the step out, so you will find those there. And... Um, like I, said, I always do my own version and then link to uh, the creator of the tangle um, or where you know where I found it which was uh, tangle patterns and um, below that is my link tree I think this, now I'm debating uh, here shall you know what though I need to make that a little bit darker right here and I could add some graphite but I feel like using this uh, colorless blender, yeah, just to add, it is such a nice tool where you can add uh, some darkness with your graphite without adding any graphite in. Good idea to just play with it first, but... Uh, Yes, keep looking. Um, anyway, so yeah, in that description section, yeah, find the yeah the link at the the very last link uh, to my link tree. So if you are interested in tangling online with uh, well, if you've not done it before with us, if you would like to make some new tangled friends, um, we can always use some more. Can't have too many. Oh, there we go. I like that a lot. Um, so uh, I do teach twice weekly, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, the start time is always the same, 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern time. I'm in Michigan. And um, Thursdays are free. And we have a lot of fun. You will find some of the replays if you're interested. If you want to just check it out before coming live. Yeah, I mean, you could come. You, you, we don't. I always ask everybody to keep their webcams off, stay muted. We use the chat feature to, to have fun and chat and things just because it makes it more pleasant for everybody because um, it just it just gets chaotic when you have too much going on. Um, it's chaotic enough with just mom and me. <laughs> um, so you don't have to worry about, you know, anything, you know, you don't, you don't have to say anything. You can just come and enjoy. It would be just like you're watching a replay. It just would, it just happened to be live. Um, but you can check those out. I do keep those on, you know, on uh, the channel here. So you can go click on my, my name or my picture and it'll take you to what I call it, the homepage of the channel. And then you can see all my playlists. So I have playlists with the replays and stuff like that. Um, but we have a lot of fun. And uh, so come and join us. And then, uh, say so those are free. There's one one Tuesday a month that's free, and then the others have some sort of fee. And you will see information on those on my website. And again, that link is in the link tree. Um, also, if you happen to be on Facebook and want to uh, just be part of the conversation and have a safe place to share your work, uh, come and join us. We have a private uh, community group, and it's just it's it's full of just amazing, lovely people. And one of the things that uh, is so nice that has has developed is um, the fact that so we all do seem to understand that we all come from all walks of life. We come from all abilities and disabilities, all, you know, um, yeah, different art experiences, you know, from none to a lot. And it's just so fun to be in a group that... Uh, works to, you know, to inspire and be inspired and uh, celebrate everybody's wins because, you know, we don't know. Um, we don't know what's going on. We don't care. If, you know, you have a win. You did something great. We're going to celebrate it. So um, it's just really, really fun. So you will um, 
yeah, so come and join us if you're looking for something like that. Uh, there are four questions that you have to answer, though, in order to gain entry. So I just want to let you know that as well. All right. There are other links there. Self-explanatory, really, all of it. And um, what a fun tangle. It's, it's just, it's neat. It's impressive. And it's not necessarily so tough. All right. So with that, thank you so much again for watching. And I wish you happy tangling.